We have all been waiting for this feature for a long time. Dragging chords to instrument tracks. Now it's finally here in Studio One 5.3. Let's see how that works. Well, now that it's there, it's pretty easy. You just take one chord and drag it to an instrument track. That was easy, right? Let's do it again, because it's so easy. Cool. Does this work with more than one chord too? No, we'll have to wait until the next version. No, just kidding. Of course this works. Let's hold down Shift and double click here on the chord track. That's going to select all chord events in the song. And now drag them onto a new track. Works. But is that all? Yes. No. Did you know that you can detect the chords of any audio in your song? Here are some nice chords. Let's detect them. Right click, audio and detect chords. That's it. The cool thing is that we can see the chords right in the audio event. Well, that's not new, that's been in Studio One since version 4, but once the chords have been detected, I can just drag this audio event to an instrument track to turn it into an instrument part. Pretty nice. But one chord was incorrectly detected. No problem, I can double click the event that is going to open the editor. And here you can edit the chords. Or remove some of them. Or even adding new chords if you want. And now we can drag it to the instrument event again and voila, some beautiful chill out chords. Another cool thing, when you have opened the inspector and you select the chord track or a chord on it, this inspector view will turn into a chord view. And in this list we can see all chords of our song. So we can basically use it as a chord library. But wouldn't it be cool if we could preview these chords? We can. Just select an instrument for the preview. That can be any instrument in your song or the default chord preview sound. And now, if Audition Chords is activated, we can select these chords and hear how they sound. Or if I like one of them, or a whole chord sequence, I can drag it into my arrangement. Or copy it to the chord track if you hold down Ctrl or Command on Mac. By the way, if you don't like the octave in which the chords are played, you can change it right here. And this also affects the chord notes that are created when you drag a chord from the chord track to another track. And as a last tip, if you want to see the chord symbols in the editor as well, just click this button for the global tracks and choose chord track. That's it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.